And the next little bit here, you can see I've got all of the bus wire soldered up. Looks done there. And then if I just flip it over, you'll see I've got the uh, under bus wire, little jumper wires. There was one I realized that's supposed to go here, between here and somewhere else. Uh, between this one and this one, but I don't have it. So I'll have to just do an above board jumper wire where I connect the, the resistor and then a piece of jumper wire over to, I believe it was this one, but I'll have to fix that one because I, again, another one I forgot to include in the turret diagram. There should be one right there. But anyway, it'll still work. All right, so we've made some progress tonight. I've got the primary stage done. This is the first input stage that goes into the primary, into the tone stack. And as I mentioned, I had to kind of, uh, I've just soldered this directly to a wire that I'll run over and solder into here later. That's going to run the uh, B plus rail off. This is C, this would be uh, D, and this is E. And then A and B will be off on a separate port, part. Over in this area is going to be the reverb, and then coming into here will be the, uh, the phase splitter. And then out to the final kind of output stage. So that's where we're at now. We'll get a little bit more work done tomorrow, but we're calling it a night. There we go. Yay! Okay, so there you have it. Finished board. Uh, the only minor problems that I have that don't cause major problems long term but are annoying is that uh, I found out most of these carbon comp resistors were kind of short. On this one I tried to use a little bit of short wire to fix it, but it was more effort than it was worth, so on most of these other ones I just quickly put a small piece of wire to the end here and here. I might end up pulling this guy back out just so that I can remove the plastic because it ends up looking kind of odd that that's the only one that has it. But uh, at any rate, uh, there we have it. And uh, next I'll be working on this guy, which will be just to put those, you know, the, the bias circuit and the resistors in there. And then uh, it's more about wiring up the rest of it at that point. So we're getting close. i got the shop dogs with me today. Hanging out in the shop. Max. Max, are you helping me today? Mallory. All right. Are you guys gonna help me today? Huh, buddy? You gonna help me today? What about you, Mallory? You gonna help me today? You do the work in the shop today? Mallory, you gonna help me? All right. So we've made some more progress. I've started getting. Uh, caps wired in the first half you can see there is about ready and I've also connected it into the one side of the choke. Now I just need to put together the second half of the 100 ohm series parallel group and put that together as well. Um, I'm probably going to try and put some nice goo over this to kind of keep things from being able to touch each other after I get done some silicone. And then also a little silicone on the bottom to kind of hold them in place. Uh, as you can see here I've got this all done as well and then this up here. Uh, I haven't bolted them down yet though because I'm going to wait until I'm ready because you know I, I was still getting for example these guys in but they are all now in as well and uh, now it's just kind of a matter of uh, I've got the reverb on order and coming I'll need to wire up the power and the preamp tubes correctly into you know all the different connecting points here and here uh, and before I bolt those down I'm likely going to you know I'll pull this back a little bit wire it up and when it's done they'll just slide it back and make sure I have a little play in the wiring and I can make sure the lead dress is done a little better after I bolt it down but once it's soldered. Um, I'm not sure I might even try and get this up a little bit more under here I could bend this wire down a little bit so it's flatter. Uh, the old amp had a little bit different as well. They have a, a center tap on the main coil but I don't need that on the current build so I've just covered that with some shrink wrap and shrunk it up and I'll kind of put that aside. Um, but all in all, it's coming along pretty well. Today was a, a busy, heavy day, despite being sick. I don't know if you guys will notice on the video, I'm kind of panting at points because my I'm so yucked up with this cold. But anyway, all kinds of fun while you're doing your, your hobbies. Uh, but uh, at any rate, I will uh, continue the work in the next day or two and update it again. Okay, so if you see here tonight, got a little bit more done. I've set these guys up. I've got my A here and my B here, and then I'll bring C over to here a little later. Um, and then of course, uh, at some point also these, I have to pull off of B over to my power tubes. I've also connected a couple of the first power, the input in and the other lines down to here. And that's about all I'm gonna do tonight because it is cold. So off out of this freezing garage, try and do something a little bit less cold.
but uh, getting some more progress. And if uh, one thing I'd noticed on accident is without thinking about it, I'd soldered this A part of the choke. This is these two are the wires that go to the choke off of these ends. I'd wired it on the negative down here, but I've got a ground that goes to chassis that was already in this amp that would tie both sets of ground. So these are the first set of 100, and this is the second set of 100. A and B on either side of it with the choke in the middle. Uh, I also have the rectifier, as I mentioned last time yesterday, uh, hooked in here with a also with a uh, high voltage low cap. It's like 0.1 microfarad, I think. And I believe that's just for general circuit protection. Uh, and I've got my negative rail here ready to tie in when I've got that, but uh, as you can see this is mostly done I'm waiting for another cap here the one that I damaged and then these will connect into here as well But we're making good progress. Uh, I've got my other parts on order, so we should be good. I'm pretty excited Okay, so as you can see here, I've got uh, the first and second tube somewhat wired got half of the first tube Which is just the preamp stage the um, it's going to share with the reverb circuit. So I've only gotten half of that Second tube is about three quarters of the way done, and those will tie in over here. As you can see also, there's kind of some blue and yellow wire that comes off the bottom that's dealt out to the volume pot, which is over there, and whatnot. So it's coming along, but that's enough for me for tonight. So we'll call that good. Okay, so tonight I've made a lot more progress. I'm gonna come off from this angle, because you can see I've got my grounding bus set up uh, all the way down. And I have got you know, all the way across to there. I now have also my the first half of my reverb um, stuff coming through right here. And it's coming down. I've also got some, if you look there, I've got some uh, of my high watt uh, 1K resistors off the grid. And uh, so yeah, things are looking pretty good, um, all in all. I did get my new cap there as well. So I'm now down, really, I've wired everything through and about to start the reverb circuit. Um, getting very close. It's getting pretty good. A couple more nights, maybe this weekend I'll be done. Yay.